Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu children. Welcome again. We are doing the story of Usman radiallahu anhu. And today we are specially observing his generosity, the virtue of generosity of Usman radiallahu anhu. We will see three events where Usman radiallahu anhu had really been very, very generous. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the, the ability to learn generosity too, inshallah. So are you ready? Here we go. Let's see the first event, shall we? It was the ninth year after Hijri. Hijri, that is after migrating to Medina, it was the ninth year that a situation came up in which the Roman emperor Hercules wanted to attack Arabia. Maybe he wanted to make it his own empire. So when Allah's messenger وسلم, came to know about it, he commanded his companions to prepare for fighting in the way of Allah. Now at that time, the weather conditions were really harsh. It was blazing hot. The country was suffering with famine, that is, there was shortage of food. It was not an easy time to go for a battle. And this was going to be the battle called the Battle of the Book. Now, how would everyone come? But mashallah, when Prophet وسلم, called everyone, all the Muslims came up. And when he asked them to bring whatever they had, as a contribution, it was time to contribute whatever they could. They, mashallah, brought everything they could. Some people brought cash. Some people brought other things that they had. All little bit things, food items, and other things that they could need. The women brought their jewelry, and they put it down. Everything was being collected on a big place. All this contribution would help the army. So when Usman radiallahu anhu heard of the call of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he came up to and he brought a huge supply. He prepared an army with all its requirements down to everything. He supplied the army of the the book with 940 camels, 60 horses, that's almost close to a thousand. Apart from this, Usman radiallahu anhu brought 10,000 dinars in cash money to equip the army with whatever Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam thought was needed. When he brought this and placed it before Prophet Wasallam, Prophet Wasallam was so happy. He just smiled. MashaAllah, this was the best contribution. And he was so pleased. Usman radiallahu anhu had a real generous heart. He would just do it as soon as he heard a command he would just immediately put everything to action. He would become a doer of good and do the best that he possibly could. MashaAllah, what a beautiful thing. He wouldn't think twice. He wouldn't just think and calculate and wonder whether he should do it or not do it. MashaAllah, what a beautiful virtue. Now there was another incident. Let's see what that was. This is known as the incident of the well of Ruma. We know that Usman radiallahu anhu was a kind and generous person who was always the first to do good deeds and spend on all worthy causes, mashallah, just like Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu. He used all his resources in obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to seek the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
When Prophet Muhammad وسلم, came to Medina, he had found that there was very little fresh water there. That is, there were not many sources of drinking water, water which is like good and tastes well. However, there was a wonderful wealth of rumor which belonged to a man from some other tribe, that is, Banu Ghifar. Its water was far better than that of Medina, and the owner used to sell it at a very heavy price. When Prophet wasallam requested him to give the spring as a gift to the Muslim community, he refused. When Usman radiallahu anhu found out about this, he went to the man and he bought his well, the well of Ruma, for quite a high price. After buying it, he opened it for the Muslims and now everybody could use the water. It was free for everyone. MashaAllah. Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu said that Usman brought paradise twice on the day of Ruma and on the day of distress. Usman radiallahu anhu really did things that became a sadqa for him, the reward of which will always remain in his account till up to the time it lasts, mashallah, which Allah knows best. The third incident of Usman radiallahu anhu's generosity is with the mosque of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Medina. As you know, Prophet ﷺ built his mosque in Medina and the Muslims would gather there to offer the five daily prayers. They would also collect over there to listen to the sermons and speeches of Prophet ﷺ. They learned a lot from it and it was just a wonderful place to accommodate all the Muslims who were learning about Islam. But now the place had become rather tight, so Allah's Messenger asked some of his companions to buy the land next to the mosque so that the mosque could be expanded and whoever would buy the land and add to the mosque in return for something good for him would get something good in paradise, inshallah. So of course, who do you think got the idea who was the first one to really become active, Usman bin Affan radiallahu anhu. He bought it with his own money for 20,000 dirhams. And this land was then added to the mosque, enlarging the mosque enough to accommodate all the Muslims. MashaAllah, Usman radiallahu anhu earned Sadqa here too. A sadhika which is going to go on for him always. These are very, very big examples of generosity. And Allah knows best how much hidden projects of generosity he must have done as well. Well, just reviewing what generosity really is. You know, generosity begins by recognizing that some person or some group of people may be in some need. They may be needing your help. And it could even be a small need, like for your family or your friends or in your community, or it could be a big help someday. It is very smart of a person to know who needs your help. And then also can think of some way to help them or have something to give them. It starts when we look for things to share. Like we can share our time, our knowledge, our things, our money or food. We can look for ways to give whatever is possible, even as simple as a smile. And all this for nothing in return except the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is truly being generous. 
A generous person is one who is willing to make a sacrifice for others. It begins with little, little things and then can become big, big things as we grow older. Inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us and grant us the awareness, the wisdom to understand who needs our help so that we can be there for them. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Till next time again.